my channel. My name is Jessica. I'm so excited because today I'm doing a look that I do very often and that is a glowy look that lasts. And I get asked about this all the time on my Instagram on how I achieve a glowy look, glowy skin without looking super oily when you have oily skin. And that's what we're going to do today. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're not already and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. This video is mainly going to be based on skin, glowy skin, and a little bit of eyeshadow because, I mean, I do do my eyeshadow most of the time, even if it's like a little like zhuzh on my eyelid. I really just want to do a video on how I do my skin because I get lots of questions. I post, I always post things like this on my Instagram of like my skin, um, not my bare skin, like, you know, my makeup. And people always have questions. They ask me questions. Like, what am I using? How are you that glowy? So we're gonna do that. We're gonna. I'm gonna show you today what I use to achieve that look. And this is my favorite thing to do. My favorite looks to do. So we're gonna actually start off with skin. I am combination skin more towards the oily side on my T zone, and I mean like very oily. So. I know sometimes people with oily skin kind of fall back and don't like doing very glowy looks because it can kind of freak you out and make you think you're going to be more oily. But as long as you have the right tools, if you have blotting sheets and um, there's actually, I don't know where it's at, but it is the Beauty Blender Blotting Packs. Um, I know it sounds weird. It's pretty much of the shape of the beauty blender but they're flat they're flat blotting things that are reusable and you wash them and i like those because they're a little bit more eco-friendly instead of the papers as long as you have those you're set you're good to go for the rest of the day so i definitely recommend having something like that in your purse or your backpack if you're going to be doing glowy looks with oily skin so i've already prepped my skin i normally like to use my kiehl's ultra facial cream but it's a little bit more on the thick side so when I do these glowy looks I like using something a little bit thinner and more water based so I use the watermelon glow pink juice from glow recipe and this is a very thin I believe it's water based uh, moisturizer so it's not gonna add any extra like oils or like a thick you know feeling like I honestly don't even feel like I have it on anymore but I feel moisturized so I use two different primers for glowy looks I like using my NARS Pour and Shine. There's a lot of um, dupes for this, and NYX has one, I believe. Um, there's a lot of affordable options for a Pour and Shine primer. So I just add that on my T-zone, my nose and my forehead, because that's literally the only places that I get oily. And then the other primer that I use is the NYX Hydra Touch Oil Primer, and mine is a little broken but like it still gets the job done so it's just an oil i think smashbox has a version of this i actually haven't tried that um but i assume it's similar but this one works amazing for me so that's why i haven't went out and bought that one because i know that one's a little bit more on the pricier side so i do about two full drops and i put it on my cheeks and a little bit like where i didn't add the NARS primer around my forehead and I really just push that in. See, I already have a sort of luminosity to my skin, which is perfect. Great, now that we have that base on, I'll say it again, you see how that already, just already laid down a good luminous base? That's what we're here for, guys. That's what we're here for. So this foundation will are probably tired of me always saying this because people always ask me on instagram what's your favorite foundation what's your favorite foundation what's your favorite foundation this guy right here this is the nars sheer glow uh this is my tan shade i can't stress enough how much i love this foundation this has been my holy grail for so many years now and i can't get enough of it ever like even on days when i don't want to be like super glowy i'll use this with different bases so it doesn't come off like super glowy 
but this just like it's beautiful it's buildable i wouldn't say it's super full so if you're looking for something super full i recommend their other foundation which is nars natural radiant longwear this is buildable to uh, medium to full coverage so i definitely recommend that just for reference i am using barcelona sheer glow and before i mix before i put on my face this is another key is the makeup forever ultra soft ultra hd soft light liquid highlight i think this one's called champagne but it has a number in the back 30 it's like pink champagne or i don't know it has a name but just so you guys know it's 30. so i put a couple drops and mix it with my foundation and this kind of lightens my foundation just a tad bit and then it just like ends up matching my skin even more towards the center to blend that in, I'm going to use my Kabuki Flat Face S409 from Stilazi. And I start from the center and work my way out. Put a, one of these on. I always recommend going in with a foundation brush first when doing my makeup because beauty blenders kind of suck up a lot of your product so i like laying it down first because brushes don't really pick up i mean suck up a lot of products so i just lay down as much as i can so i can get it a little bit more full and then i go in with my beauty blender and get rid of any sort of streaks therefore i'm not wasting a lot of product and not even for that reason, I like going in with the brush because it's more full coverage. It really blends in your product together instead of just placing products like on top of each other. And then the beauty blender just kind of like pushes everything into the skin. You put some on your ears. See, there's a lot of luminosity to my skin right now. Using whatever's left over and just bringing that down my neck. I have a little bit of a forehead situation going on here. And I have my friend right there. Kind of asked him to leave already, but they're still here joining us at the party. Kind of rude. Now for concealers. Sorry guys. <laughs> so NARS is like my favorite brand ever. So a lot of the products I use are NARS. So for concealer, we're going to be using the Radiant Creamy, which is a cult classic. So... I'm running out of my favorite one, which is Canal. You can see that it's like, you know, scraping on the sides. So putting that on my under eye. I like this foundation. Foundation. I like this concealer. Oh, I do like this foundation. <laughs> but I like this concealer on looks for these because they are, I think it's all in the name, Radiant Creamy. So you get a certain amount of coverage, a good amount of coverage. And it's not matte and it's just so natural looking. I'm gonna go in with Cafe Con Leche just to kind of reinsure some color right there. So we're just gonna blend that in. I don't put too much concealer on my forehead, uh, that way it looks more at a natural. I like using concealers for looks like these to use as a base on my eye just so it just just so it really blends in with the rest of the look it's fine i live in a party house that is my dad blasting music i don't mind it some j cole but i like listening to music when i get ready so my bags are something else you see my bags right there they're not even Oh, I have a hair on my face. So before my under eye creases, I'm gonna go in with my Peach Perfect powder. Why did I say like that? Powder? So the key to this is I only set where I need to really. Sorry, I'm trying to open up my mirror. So that is my under eye. This is one of my favorite brushes. This is the L244, the large fluff from Silazi. Use code Jessica at checkout if you wanna save 20%. Okay, we're moving fast before my concealer really sets. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of the Makeup Forever Soft Light. Just about a dot on the back of my hand. 
and I use the cleaner side from my beauty blender and I place it on my cheekbones. I try not to put any powder on those areas because it does pick up, like it kind of removes um, powders. So I do this before any sorts of powdering. Do you see that? Right here. See, do you see that? Do you see, it just looks like wet, wet butter. Just makes such a difference. The key to these kinds of looks for me is not a lot of highlight. It's more of like, what are you laying underneath? That really makes you shine. And this guy right here just ma makes everything a little bit more buttery and like skin-like. I'm just gonna do something a little quick on my eyes. Let me just set that powder. Now, the great thing about having really good glowy skin is you can do absolutely nothing to your eyes and the look is completely gorgeous because the focus is skin. The other beauty of it is you can do a completely smoky eye with glowy ass skin and a nude lip. But today I'm gonna do something very subtle and simple because uh, that's my vibe today. Wearing a gray sweatshirt. I'm gonna go in with my trusty NARS palette. This transition shade, super easy peasy. I'm just gonna speed this process up, but just so you guys know, I'm gonna use this palette. Me ven y me preguntan por qué visto caro. Tú no ves que yo soy caro. De lejos se nota que mi flow es caro. Que con nadie me comparo. Yo le llevo y normal, ey. Me miran raro. Pero a nada yo le paro. Yo sé cuánto valgo. Yo sé que soy caro. Que pa' ti soy caro. Antes mami decía, está todo caro. Esos tiempos se acabaron. Yo soy como Durán. Yo la cojo y va pa' el aro. Como si fuera un disparo La regla yo la rompo Y la reparo Yo sé que ese culo es caro Lo mismo bebo mujer Que bebo guaro Tú eres otra vez me preguntaron ¿Qué carajo te importa a ti? ¿Cómo soy yo? ¿Qué digo yo? ¿Qué hago yo? ¿Qué carajo te importa a ti? ¿Cómo soy yo? ¿Qué digo yo? ¿Qué hago yo? ¿Qué carajo te importa a ti? Vive tu vida sin dar ejemplo que odio manía Por solo ser yo y no como se suponía Hasta que no te pulmonía Y acá él se encojona porque no contesté Sorry, no quiero hablar con usted Yo tengo la salsa también en el ballet Por eso cuando dejo la máquina en el ballet Me ven y me preguntan por qué he visto caro Tú no ves que yo soy caro De lejos se nota que mi flow es caro que con nadie me comparo Yo le llego y normal, ey Me miran raro, ey Pero a nada yo le paro Yo sé cuánto valgo Yo sé que soy caro, ey Que pa' ti soy caro All right, so brows are on, eyelashes. I'm probably not gonna wear falsies. I have them right here. Not sure if I wanna put them on. These are so gorgeous though. These are Coco Lashes and Angelic. They're great for every day. They're very wispy at the end, but I'm still debating if I wanna wear lashes today. So we're gonna finish off the fun part, the skin. So for the next part, I'm gonna bronze just a tad bit, just a little bit, just cause my foundation is, uh, again, from my tanner stages in life. So I'm already kind of tan. So, well not like I'm kinda tan, my foundation's kinda tan, you know what I mean? So with my Stilazi Taper Cheek S510 brush, super soft brush, I'm just gonna tap a little bit on my cheekbones, right underneath. And I'm just focusing it closest to my ear. A little bit up here. And I'm gonna bring it down here a little bit. This is gonna act kind of like your setting, the bottom for these kinds of looks. The least powder, the better. 
Oh, I actually, speaking of setting, there is one place I forgot to set, and that was right here around my mouth, because I do get, I don't get smile lines right here. I mainly get them like right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this to set just around there. All right, next up is blush. So for blush today, I'm debating which shade I wanna use. So I have these two palettes right here, the Bahamas and Barbados. This is Barbados. So I love using that one. I know it's dark and it looks scary. Or do I wanna go lighter? Yes, I'm gonna end up using Sugarcane from the Barbados palette just so I can show you guys how gorgeous it is. So I'm gonna use the same brush I used for my bronzer. You want to use a blush that has a little bit of sheen to it so it really reinforces that glowy look we are achieving today. You don't want too much. And then with the Beauty Blender, I'm just going to press that in. I like a lot of blush, so... Add at your will. Okay, the biggest thing about the glowy look is I know we like packing on highlight with ever, whatever look, whether it's matte or glowy. Highlight makes a difference, obviously. The key is to get a highlight that is close to your skin tone. There's a lot of beautiful highlights out there that are very gold, which I do like, but for this look, you wanna look glowy. So the farther you steer away from your skin shade, the more it's gonna look like highlight, you know what I mean? You want it to look like you're just glowing. So one of my favorite highlights is the Meet Mint Highlighter from Dose of Colors of Desi Katie, and it's very close to my skin shade, and it just adds an extra like layer of chicken grease that I love, you know? It's such a pretty highlight. So with my hi highlight S509 brush, this is a really good brush for highlight. And I'm just going to place it right here. Oh, it's so beautiful. Next key is get your blender sponge and you wanna press in that powder onto your skin. And that really just pushes it into your skin and makes it look like your skin. Sure, you're wearing highlight, but at certain angles, it just looks like you are glistening. Do you see this? Even like right here, it just all looks so glowy. So the last thing I have left to do is my lips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something to my hair. We're gonna come back and finish it off with my lips. I did absolutely nothing to my hair because I have so much time in the world for my makeup, but when it comes to my hair, I'll like start doing it. I'm like, yeah, no. So I didn't do anything to my hair. Anyways, so I did start lining my lips. I use the Morphe Coffee and Kissy Lip Liner. Super pretty lip line, which I absolutely adore. So for my actual lipstick, I'm gonna use No Shade from Dose of Colors, one of my faves. I don't put too much, just cause we already have that lip liner on. And I just use my finger to press it in. And then Dose of Colors again. This is their Goals Lip Gloss. Oh, wait, I forgot to set my face. So this is what really locks in everything. I like to go in first with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and I focus it on my forehead and right here. And then I like going in with my Pixie Rose Glow Mist and I just on my cheeks. Let it dry. Anyways, now we're done. All right, there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoy doing this kind of look. It's kind of like my daily because I like looking glowy all the time. It's my favorite pastime. If you like this, if you learn any tips and tricks, make sure you let me know down below. And if you have any other tips to achieve a glowy look, let me know because your girl loves being glowy. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed, you should subscribe because you made it this far. But again, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.